A committee hearing on Obamacare is just going to devolve into chaos here. Representative John Shimkus of Illinois, Republican, is going to flip out at Kathleen Sebelius. You cannot say, as you had numerous times, that these preventative care services are, quote unquote, free of charge, can you? They are free to the consumer, yes, sir. They are not. There is no free lunch, Madam Secretary. If the premiums increase because of the mandated coverage based upon a state senator from the state of Illinois, a Democrat, who, who is in oversight of the insurance of the state of Illinois, and he says when you mandate coverage, it's rolled directly on premiums. As in premiums increase, that's paying for these services. You Sir, cannot say that these are free of charge. Again, consumers will not have a copay or deductible. And I think that they, if, Will you admit they will have a higher sir, premium? If No, I do not. I think what okay. a lot of actuaries will right. tell you is if you have preventive care and prevent a costly hospital stay, cancer. All right, all right, I got it. Down the line, that that cost we're just going to agree to disagree. The premium it, it, doesn't raise it's, it. It's like talking to uh, the Republic of Korea or something. Um, last question. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Chairman, look, you through the Mr. great Chairman, works, Mr. Chairman, you have to let we we said. In the I do not have. Is, we said we were going to let the, the secretary answer the question. The gentleman controls the time. The if, the, if, the guy, if the Democrats want to yield she just some said, time just to finish Yeah, I know, but you have to leave her the opportunity to answer the I question. I do not all have agreed to on. allow her. Yes, you did. We all agreed question. on that when at the beginning. We're going to let the time. secretary answer the question. The gentleman will suspend. The gentleman will suspend. Give the secretary time to answer questions. The gentleman. Last question, Madam Secretary. Look, you can't be a congressperson if you don't know anything. And you don't know anything. So let's directly answer his question. He says... Uh, and he thinks he has her, like he's so sure he's got her, like, oh, gotcha! Uh, oh, preventative care, you would admit it's not free, right? I gotcha, I gotcha, you say it's not free, because we know it's not free, obviously, there's no such thing as a free lunch. <sighs> yes, you idiot, it is free. Now allow me to describe it as, by the way, Kathleen Sebelius was trying to do, but you wouldn't let her talk. You were too busy accusing her of being like uh, the Republic of... of Korea, which I'll get to that point in a second, okay? These are some ironies there as well. Uh, there's a provision in Obamacare that mandates that health insurance companies spend 80% of their money on actual health care, and they would have the remaining 20% for overhead and paperwork and all that stuff, okay? The way it used to work, there was no provision mandating that X amount of money had to go to health care. So what would happen is they would spend this ridiculous ratio of like 50% on on paperwork and overhead and 50% on care or 60-40, whatever it happened to be. Well, Obama saw the problem, the Democrats saw the problem, the health insurance experts saw the problem, and they said, eh, eh we're going to change this. You're essentially getting away with killing people because you're not paying out on claims when people need the help, and instead you're spending all this money on paperwork. It's nonsense, it's garbage, get your act together, we're going to make you do that by law. So now that 80% 80% of the health, the money that goes to health insurance companies now needs to go to health care. Some of the things are free, like preventative care. So your premiums are not going to go up. In fact, as all the studies have shown, especially here in New York and all the places where they actually implemented their exchanges, premiums have been cut. They've been cut. I know I was looking for health insurance for myself. Because guess what? I'm going to be 26, which means I get kicked off of mommy's health care plan. And if there was no Obamacare, I'd have to pay $500, $600 to get insurance, 500 bucks a month. But with Obamacare, I'll be able to pay 40 or 60 or whatever it is and get uh, health care. So premiums are lower, and it is free. The provision is free. They, she said, no copay, no deductible, and you get preventative care. But he can't get it through his thick fucking head because he's so used to listening to Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity who scream on the radio, trying, no, for, no such thing as a free lunch ever. Don't let anybody ever tell you opposite, even if it's a fact that it literally is free. You used to have to pay for it. Now you don't. It comes out of your premiums, and your premiums haven't been raised. So, yes, that is free. Something you get now that you didn't get before. This guy's got a fucking concrete for a head. He's one of the dumbest people I've ever heard. And then also, oh, I, I love this. First of all, just get this out of the way. It, he's like a child. That's what he strikes me like, Shimkus. Like, he can't, like, sit there and listen, open his ears and open his mind to think, oh, okay, let me, like, let me let that swirl around my head a little bit before I respond. He's just a, a bigot, which means he's married to his ideas and doesn't want to hear anybody else's. But notice what he said about, uh, he said it's like talking to the Republic of Korea. Well, that would be South Korea. 
South Korea is our lovely democratic ally. So I take it you didn't mean that, because that would be a lovely <laughs> group of people to talk with, as we do all the time. I think he meant North Korea, because North Korea is technically named the, quote, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which is hilarious that they think they're a democracy, or they pretend to be. Ha <laughs> ha! Least democratic place in the world. But he's, tr he's trying to say that talking to Kathleen Sebelius is like talking to North Korea. No, the irony is, talking to you is like talking to North Korea, because it, nothing gets in. It's just all the one line of propaganda repeated over and over and over and over and over and don't care about learning. That's exactly like North Korea. So you, sir, win the uh, Irony of the Week award because you just made yourself look like an utter fool.